Hello you guys, it's the HeadphoneAddict.com here and today I am doing a short tutorial on the Burson Conductor whereby I am going to swap out the DA card. I'm going from the 9018 DAC PCB with the Sabre chip to the 1793 Burr Brownson chip which is supposed to sound a little bit more analog as the uh, audiophile cliche goes here I'm showing you the 1793 DAC card and as you can see Burson has not really paid a lot of attention to uh, the packaging so you can see that the pins are pretty bent so Burson should definitely ramp up their packaging quality so basically this is just unscrewing the uh, top plate to get into the nitty-gritty parts of the machine okay and we're using a Phillips screwdriver to get the top plate off I used an Allen key and there are four screws that uh, hold the DAC chip in place and uh, as soon as they are off you pretty much just pull the card out it's as easy as that and there I go so it's going to be uh, pretty exciting to see if uh, the Sabre chip which is uh, more analytical it's the same uh, DAC chip that is in uh, Martech Stereo 192 DSD Digital for instance and a lot of other DA converters nowadays whereas the uh, Burr Brown DA uh, DAC chip which are on the PCM 1793 DAC chip is uh, more retro so it should uh, sound a little more analog some people say there's also a lot of people that uh, like the Wolfson DAC chips due to their uh, laid-back nature you find one of those in the heat okay guys so uh, if you haven't paid much attention to my voice but been viewing the video you pretty much see me uh, pull the dot card out and uh, placing the other one in and screwing it into place and just setting everything up I'm going to do a uh, in-depth review of the Burson Conductor shortly and uh, I'll give you my opinions on both the Sabre DAC card which comes with the unit as well as the 1793 with the Burr Brown chip which I put into place here okay guys I am nearly finished so you guys have a great day Okay, bye.